Okay, generals, should I tell you a story? <laughs> oh, yeah, I did lose to you. Yeah, you did lose to me, so... So let's read about this. <clears throat> Dynamic Patrol, Chapter 62, the, the Move. Wait a second. Didn't the Birmingham Stallions read that story to the stars? <laughs> Don't ask. <clears throat> Okay, let's read this. Prepare for orbital acceleration, D1 alerted the crew in the command center. They were all here, including Russell. Don't look at us! <coughs> Despite wanting to continue searching for the unknown element. Familiar. <laughs> Corey told him to put it on the back burner for now, as their mission was valued a high-risk assignment. On top of the gel squad, other colonists joined their mission on the bridge. After being given a crash course on console operations by Kip mm -hmm, and station operations by Russell, who also knew very little as... He was just sanitation crew, not bridge crew, but it was better than nothing. Oh, wow. You're reading the story. They were ready to do this. D1 would pilot as usual. Kip would monitor systems. Uh, weird. <laughs> at one of the stations. One of the station station. At one of the station stations. What the heck? To the rear... At one of the stations, stations to the rear, stations, oh my god, this is um, confusing. <laughs> At one of the stations, stations to the rear, Russell would maintain their heat shield for as long as possible. And Tommy and Corey would share command in in order to make sure the computer would not interfere, because this was a certainly... Not a standard maneuver. And they had allowed... And had they allowed the computer to continue in its du duties. Okay. <coughs> it would have tried to take over operating on its safety protocols. They had disconnected the contraption. So you really know about this chapter. <laughs> I mean, a coincidence since you didn't know anything after throwing that football off the offensive field. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Right. So now you've said all that. What the heck happens next? What the heck happens? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we ended off on... Oh, yeah. They were flying manually. They were flying dangerously. Corey threw a switch, and the large display retracted it onto the walls. To reveal the enormous window and the semi-sphere surface of Omeokun um, or Omeokun. <coughs> but the main view was directed toward space and the speckles of stars that lived within it. The... The civilians were re the civ the civilians were requested requested to move into safe houses once more in order to strap in as the centrifugal station. Um <laughs> began pushing for impulse on thrusters. D one had to be careful as the thrusters were designed to stabilize the station's orbit. Not fly it. It was not a ship, so Kip had to scrounge up enough power to push them past the red line. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time they've done it. <laughs> but certain someone from 2023. Inertia <clears throat> dampeners could not safely account for all... The power being pushed into the flight system. So that meant the bridge crew was required to grasp 
the edge of their consoles. And to be honest, if I got Madden on the Nintendo Switch, I would be screaming. <laughs> And those lucky to have a chair had taken it now. The station had advanced rapidly around the outer, outer rim of the planet's orbit, taking every bit of turbulence as it moved. And the speedometer was climbing extravagantly, beginning in the thousands, and soon pushing for the one... <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, yeah. Pushing for the 100s of thousands, they were flying. The crew could feel the G-force pushing against their bodies at the station. Continue to accelerate. Naturally, on a mayokun, the gravity was higher than, say, a planet like Earth. But this was high. <coughs> oh, I think we might finish this whole chapter with no part twos or threes. <coughs> right? Oh, yeah, since it's now summer vacation, <laughs> we could finally do whatever the heck we would want to do. At least right, right now. Oh, please come, S.E., please. <coughs> Back to the story. Russell checked the... the the displays, making sure that the heat shields were holding up under the stress. He, like many others, never experienced anything like this before, but he was determined to do his part and keep this, the station safe. <coughs> safe. 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 Kip was monitoring the systems, making sure that everything and everything was working as it should be. <coughs> As they continued to accelerate, the crew began to feel a sense of excitement and fear. And naturally so, the stakes were high. If they failed, the station could be destroyed, and they... And they would all be lost in space. Omeo Kun would be lost. Corey gave the order to cut the thrusters, and D1 complied. She let the station coast through space around the planet's orbit. <coughs> the crew breathed a collective sigh of relief as the G4 subsided. They had made it through one of the most dangerous parts of this entire maneuver. <coughs> Maneuver, a.k.a. your season right now. Oh, shut the frick up, Michigan. <laughs> D1. D1. D1 left the rest to the natural orbit of the planet's gravitational pull. It guided the station around slowly. The crew watched... And, and Awe, as A-W-E, as they passed, passed over the planet's surface. Seeing, seeing, seeing things that no Omeo Kun or robot had ever seen before. One hour down, another 28 to go. <laughs> Well, at least I tucked you in tonight. Yeah. And congratulations to me. I'm a bastard, and I really should fix my offense the next time I do it. <laughs> On to the next part.